And you can see that some stuff is in the shot more than once. We want that overlapping. Okay, so that's what we want for the, for the originals. Um, then if we go over to Photopea, we're going to open from computer and we're gonna open all of them. Actually, I'm gonna go in here. Grab and open all four. Okay, now these instructions are on the panoramic page on Haiku. Uh, let me grab that for you guys again. So everything that I'm going over right now is on there. And if you find that uh, something is way different on the Chromebook, please let me know so I can update, uh, update the directions. Because obviously I'm not on a Chromebook uh, when I'm working on this. So there is that page again. So I've got them all and I need to put them all onto uh, one tab. So here's all my images. So I'm gonna put them all onto number one. So I'll go to an image and I'm going to select all. I could also hit uh, control A on a, on a Chromebook or PC so that I select everything. We see these dancing ants grabbing the whole thing. And then I can copy, control C, go over to the first one and control V or um, I did it twice. <laughs> In your history, it'll show what you've done. Okay, so, uh, so that was actually You might want to rename. Select all, copy, and paste. All right, so I've got them all on there. Uh, now I need to merge them together. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the shift button to select all four layers. Lights, come back. I've got all four layers and I'm gonna go to edit auto align so that the computer lines them up for me. Now, when you click this, it's going to seem like nothing has happened. No similarity found. Well, let me try it with just three. All right, so it just didn't like one of my layers. So now what has happened is it went and auto aligned them together and created this. Now my layers are still separate. Yeah, I can turn these eyeballs on and off.
Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge them together into one layer. I want to keep my separate layers just in case. So uh, kind of a, a weird um, keyboard shortcut is uh, Control Alt Shift E, which does take two hands to do. And what that does is that is uh, that creates my merged pano. All right, so now I have this merged panoramic. I can turn off these other eyeballs. So this is all one big layer. But as we can see, it's got these lines. Well, we can try to blend our layers together by going to edit auto blend, but depending on your image, it may tell you that uh, the blended areas are too large. That is something with panos if we go to the image size and we take a look at it in inches. Right now, my image, even though it's itty bitty on my screen, is 45.67 inches long. Now, I'm not gonna print it that long if I end up printing it. Um, so if it's giving you errors about uh, blending it and things like that, it may be because your image is massive. Um, so typically, I think that uh, if I type in 12, so it'll fit on a eight by 12 piece of paper, uh, that'll automatically change the height to six. I am making it much smaller and most printers print at dots per inch of 300 or 350, so I will do that and we'll see if it works better. All right, it looks like my image got smaller, but all I have to do is grab my magnifying glass and hit fit an area and we're right back where we were. All right, so we have these lines that don't quite match exactly. Any ideas what tool or tools I could use? Everybody type something into the chat. What tool or tools would I use to start fixing this? All of these have a number of different tools that we could use to accomplish the same thing. Uh, as far as ones we've gone over, I would probably try my spot healing brush first because that will blend edges but you have to be on the layer where they're all merged together. If I just go to layer three and try to merge it with layer two here, right, layer two, unless I have both layers selected, it's not going to blend them together at all. But because I merged them into one, I can grab that spot healing uh, brush and that's the one where it will blend the pixels that are around it. I can make that bigger or smaller with the little bracket keys. If you look on your keyboard, find the letter P. To the right of the letter P, there are some brackets. Those will let you make your brush bigger or smaller with to go up here every time to change the size. So I'm going to go along this line here, just like we did on the rope. All right, not bad, but I might decide to grab my clone stamp and maybe I grab and press K and click and grab some of this cloud and kind of bring it in here and then go back to my spot heel. So if things don't quite line up, we can always 
clone a little bit, blend them together. So you can kind of go back and forth between clone and spot heal, but if we look in the spot heal menu, some tools we haven't talked about yet, um, the healing brush and the patch tool. The patch tool is where you draw over the area you want to patch or blend and you can drag your cursor over to where you think it looks good and let go and it blends it. There's it before. So it's kind of softened that line. I'd still probably go in and do some healing. But usually if we just get rid of some of these lines, uh, we'll be in good shape. Now, my, uh, my image right now, if I were to print this up, all of this checkered area would be the white of my paper. So you probably don't want your image to be that shape. So if we grab the crop tool and we just set it to free, we can make any sort of rectangle we want. And then up at the top, we can say yes. Or we could have decided, hmm, I wanna grab my clone stamp and grab a big old chunk of sky here. And maybe I wanna fill in some areas, maybe add a cloud or two, and then go in and do a bunch of blending. Uh, you could certainly do that. In this case, I would probably just crop it. But if you have like a little sliver that you need to fill in, you can absolutely do that. If you have a set size, like say you know you're going to, uh, you have a frame or you have something that you know it needs to fit into, you can certainly on your crop tool um, put in a fixed size or a fixed ratio and, and type those in. In this case, I just want there to not be any little checkers. And now I can go in, finish fixing it. If I'm in the middle of working on this, I'm gonna save as a .psd. If I am all done and ready to take it to Lightroom and do all my edits, I would save it as a JPEG. Okay, but when we save as a JPEG, all of these layers get flattened together. JPEGs are small little files that we can open on pretty much anything. Uh, PSDs, we need a program like Photoshop or uh, Photopea. 